Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC and welcome to Saturday Night Live. Yeah, I started a couple minutes early. Zach said I had to. <laughs> What's up, Zach? Winchester, Chad, Cauldron, how you guys doing? It's a gray and rainy day up here, man. Holy smokes. Hey, C. Lemansky, how you doing? Jason, hello. How's it going? I'm doing good, Mark. How are you? Been of a been a very interesting day today. Hey, what's up, EDC Life? How's it going? Rick, hello. Glad to see you, my friend. Manny, hello, hello. Yes, yes, it most certainly is. It is front and center. Yeah, it's awesome to see everybody here. It's, uh, I know it's late for a lot of people, and then again, it's very early for some others. So, yes, it is absolutely awesome to see everybody that shows up, most definitely. You didn't fall? That's good, Deuce. I'm glad to have you. Very glad to have you. Dave, what's happening, man? Oh, I've been waiting on, oh, wow, I've been waiting on some custom scales for a while. Holy smokes. Yes, the TS-127, we're definitely going to look at that one first one out today. Hey, Mark. Hey, Alex, what's up, man? How are you? Glad to have you. Hey, Grom, Chad. Good evening. Good evening to you all. Glock's here. Stud fishing's here. Wow. Everybody's jumping in. Excellent. Excellent. Justin. Yes, Justin, the man of the hour. We are going to be we're going to be taking a look at some of your handiwork here very very soon. Give everybody a couple of minutes to jump in. I started a couple of minutes early, so Oh, yeah, that's a decision. Knife or scales, knife or scales. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you get a new car or do you, do you just buy tires for the one you have, right? No, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> While we're waiting for everybody else to jump, jump in. Hey, Bunzo. Hey, Peter. What are you all carrying today? What's in everybody's pocket? You guys can pretty much imagine what was in my pocket after opening it up. <laughs> hey, Stafford, what's up? Well, I'm doing well, Peter. I hope you're doing fine, too. Let's see, an Atom, a Bug Out, PSA to 1, very good. Strider, very good. 9400, of course. Hey, Tier 1, what's up, man? <laughs> You've been looking at <laughs> Cold Floofy Gamer, how you doing, man? Oh, another, another Atom and a Dividend. Ooh, SoCom Elite, nice. Steve's Gift Drifter, oh. Oh, what was that? Oh, a Topher. Oh, sorry to hear that, buddy. Glad to have you. Hey, Robert, how are you? Yes, it is Saturday night again. It seems like it just goes faster and faster every week. What's up, Zeb? How are you doing? Hollywood Back to Cool, what's up? Very good. We got some nice carries today. Very yeah, lots of atoms for sure. That's cool. Well, that's a pretty it's a pretty darn good knife, so no surprise. I did not get the Wee Banter. I did not get one. Um not that I didn't 
Not that I don't have any ill thoughts about it. I just didn't get one. Ooh, CNC time, huh? Nice. Very good. Artisan Wren. Cool. Solid Flash 2. Very good. Well, hello, Minette. How are you? Glad to have you along for the evening. Mini Freak. Very good. Uh, there's actually a banter going around the... Uh, the, well, we'll be going around the pass around group, so I'll at least get to check it out anyway. So that's good. I signed up for it, so I will check it out and see it. But, all right, well, I tell you what, I can't wait any longer. Let's take a look at this guy. Man, would you look at that. This is an absolutely fantastic knife. TS-127 that has been seriously modded gotta hit the there it is look at that cardinal on the pivot would you look at that that's just too cool that's just awesome and then well, not only one but we have two there's another one on the pocket clip how awesome is that that is so cool. Yes, yes it is. Oh, did I miss? Oh, hey Adrian, how are you, man? I'm sorry I missed you coming in. I saw somebody say damn design in the house. That's very cool. Thank you. Yeah, no doubt. Dude, this blade is all sorts of pokey stabby, man. Goodness gracious, would you look at that? Yo, that's some fingerprints. But my goodness, that blade is just, well, wicked is a good term for it. But man, be better if the camera would focus on it. But you know, there it is, kind of, sort of, maybe. There it is. <laughs> But yeah, I love how he uh, acid etched. I mean, all the all the hardware is acid etched. But man, how he got that cardinal on there is just freaking awesome. I guess he uh, he cut it out of vinyl and put vinyl on there and then acid washed it. Hey, bad monkey, what's up, man? And that's just so. I'm just so freak. It's just so awesome. I don't know how else to say it. It's just so awesome. Oh, there he's upside down. Oops. There he is. Maybe. There he is. Stupid camera. Oh, man. That is just... And it was black and white, and he, he dyed it red. Hey, Sean. What's up, buddy? No, nobody's getting this one. I mean, it would be. I mean, you could. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. No, no. This one's not going anywhere. This one's mine. It's going to stay with me. <laughs> Your knife. Wait a minute. I don't think so. There has been some mistake here. Yes, these mods are just awesome. And I think you got a good thing going with that whole vinyl acid edge thing man that's that's working out for you man that's working out really really well there it is <laughs> my precious yes exactly my precious yeah that's just absolutely fantastic i can't i can't thank you enough justin this is absolutely beautiful beautiful work beautiful knife again it will be cherished Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. <laughs> but yes. Oh my goodness. That's just fantastic, brother. Oh, and it's so comfortable. Oh my goodness. It's so comfortable in hand. 
Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, I feel I feel very special. I feel very special. Very, very special. Yes, it is a very, very nice looking knife. Yeah, the, the clips, clips pretty deep carry. I mean, there's not a lot. You have a, just a tad bit showing, but it's not too bad. Oh, yeah. Are you showing a sexy one tomorrow, Zach? That's cool. I, it's true. It's true. Definitely. It is a very, very pretty knife, and I like it a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> oh, that's a cool. Oh, Jason, that's a question for. That's a question for Justin. When you acid etch stainless, does it make it more susceptible to corrosion? Hmm. What, what say you, Justin? Does acid etch stainless make it more susceptible to corrosion? Oh, right on, Sean. Oh, it was good to have you, man. Good to have you as long as you could. All right. Well, I tell you what, I'll probably come see you next week, so I'll bring it for a visit. How do, How's that sound? All depends on the alloy. Okay. Right on. All right, Alex. Well, I'm glad you stopped by, man. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Always good to have you, my friend. I hope you have a good rest of your weekend. Hello, Talbert. How are you? Did it? Okay. Hey, John, what's up? You're not late, my friend. You're never late. Alloy matters more than the finish. Okay. I guess that kind of makes sense. I mean, that makes sense to me. I, I'm not the steel guy. Apparently, I'm not the sharpening guy either. <laughs> so I tried sharpening. I had another, you know, I'm just trying knives that I don't, that I'm not, you know, if I won't get all bent out of shape if I screw up the edge on. And so far, I've done two bucks. And then I did, I did one of those little knockoff more as you can get at Walmart. The two buck knives, man, those did not turn out well. This I just not not doing it. The little knockoff Mora, that one I did okay. It's not great. I would definitely wouldn't call it great. Um, I got it so it was kind of shaving. You know, not really, not really super shaving, but it would a little bit. But um, yeah, those darn buck knives, man. I did one today and I just not, it did not turn out well. Oh, trust me, I'm going to keep at it. I'm going to keep at it. I'll get there, but man. Hey, JD, what's up, man? Menace, how are you? Good to have you. So, yeah, number, edge number one was kind of junky. Edge number two was okay, and then edge number three was back to blah, but it was, yeah, I don't know. They're both buck knives, though, so I wonder, I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not, so I don't know. I'll get another blade, and I'll try again. That's all we can do, right? Keep trying. Keep trying. So what are we going to take a look at now? We're going to take a look at a bright one. We're going to take a look at this guy. The Finch Knife Company Tycoon. 
Guys, this is a pretty sweet little knife. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing, man. It, it it it's work to use the KME, and it's it's a bummer when the edge doesn't put out, and you you know it doesn't come out when you put all that effort. But I, I tell you what, on the the one today, I had a hard time raising a burr on it. That was the big thing, is I had a hard time getting a burr to show up. But yeah, like I said, we'll just keep doing it. But oh man, I tell you what, guys, this knife likes to eat rope. I hadn't, I hadn't got the opportunity to use it a lot, but I used it a little bit. Oh, my goodness. Terrific, terrific rope knife. Oh, my goodness. That belly on that blade, it loves it. Fantastic. Oh, trust me. We'll be taking a look at one of those as well, JD. Yes, it is a fantastic looking knife. But 154 CM steel, G10, it's kind of got that kind of stone texturing on it, I guess is what we would call it. And man, I mean, it fits really good in my hand. Now, it's not a lot of left over. Not a lot of room left over. But so if you got larger hands, you know, might not fit all that well. But man, can I speak to my process? I can. Uh, today, what did I do? I did 140, 300, 600, 1500, and then I stropped on six, three, and one micron. And the way the edge come out, uh, you'd have barely thought I got past 300 grit. So, yeah, it just was not was not there but yeah this tycuna man holy smokes i was i actually went online to buy this one and then i saw the 1929 was out hey super k what's up man so i ended up buying the 1929 well Spencer being Spencer, Spencer from Finch Knife Company, he ended up sending this one along as well. So, and you know, I'm, I really thankfully did because it's a really good knife. Oh, uh, what steel? It was a buck 110. That's what I was sharpening today. So both the ones I've had problems with were buck 110s. So, I guess, 420, yeah. And I was bummed because, you know, the 400 series, supposed to do one of the ones that sharpens pretty easily. <laughs> no, <laughs> apparently not. Not for me. <laughs> That's all right. We'll get back at it. But, oh, my goodness. And... I love the fact that it's kind of after that whole sodbuster panic. No, that was the thing, Justin, is I could not get a bird to form. On that little Mora knockoff, I definitely felt the burr on that one. This one, no. I did not ever, I never, ever felt the burr. Oh, thank you, Zach. Thank you very much. Hey, Insta, what's up, buddy? That was the big thing, is I never, ever felt the burr. I could not get a burr to form. I ground that thing like crazy with 140 and could not get a burr to form. So I don't know. But definitely, definitely a nice little knife. Hey, Jesse. Yeah, that Tycoon is a nice one. It is definitely a nice knife. I'll sit these down here a little better. Let me see them a little better. Yep, 
Yeah. And that's, that was it. I just could not get the bird to form. Could not get one to come up. So I know I, prog I, I progressed on just to see what would happen. And, well, it wasn't. <laughs> Obviously, the results weren't that great. So. That video, the video I posted on IGTV, that was at more a knockoff. And I could feel the burr on both sides. What's the burr? When you sharpen one side of a knife, you basically push the metal to the opposite side of the knife. And you basically end up pushing it back and forth. And you have to get that. That's the big thing is forming that burr. I mean, I was talking to BJ and he's, he told me, you know, you got to make that burr form. <laughs> It'll be your burden. Yeah, I was kind. Of, I was reprofiling it. So, but dude, I was grinding that thing forever. Man, I worked on that with one forty for I don't know how long. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Hey, Mean Gene, what's up? So. That's the big thing is getting that bird to form. So I learned my lesson the hard way. I didn't have it. I didn't have it at 140 and it just wasn't going to be there. So that was just the way it was. Take my, I'll take my lumps. But now, I mean, you know, now I know that. So if I can't get the bird to form at 140, then yeah. Speaking of the 1929. Well, there you go, Talbert. Hey, Brian, what's up? Yeah, 140 is the lowest I have right now. I don't have a 50 or a 100 right at the moment. Well, it's okay. I'll get there. I'll learn, you know. Yeah, I hear you. Oh, trust me, I won't next time. <laughs> I won't go any further. Yes, this is an absolutely gorgeous knife. This is the 129, or 1929, excuse me. Coco Bolo wood. I love that Coco Bolo wood and shield, man. That just looks so, so nice. I'm getting a hell of a glare there. Oh, thank you, Tier 1. Thank you very much, man. I greatly appreciate that. Come on. Yeah, I know. That's what I was using, too, was a Diamond, Diamond 140. I know, man. Obviously, I just didn't get the angle that, that much. Come on. Zoom in. There it is. Finally. 154CM again. Got this nice little bolster lock. Oh, no problem, Talbert. No problem at all. It does, it does kind of have that cotton sampler feel. I mean, obviously, you're a little wider through this portion. Um, but it's definitely got that, that Barlow look to it, which I absolutely love. I love a Barlow. There we go. So the shield's right set up. Oh, thank you, Deuce. Thank you very much, man. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I don't... I mean, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous knife. And I tell you what, smooth... The action, holy cow. The action is just super, super smooth. Now, the 1929, this one was actually built by QSP. <laughs> Good one, Zach. 
No, it's brushed stainless. Brushed stainless. I couldn't, I didn't know if it was titanium or if it was stainless. At first. Oh, where's my, but where's my magnet? It's, it's definitely, it's definitely brushed stainless for that. So, yep, yep, he's got a Finch he's giving away. He's giving away the carbon fiber version. And actually, he's got his 1,000 giveaway, his 1,000 subscriber giveaway going on right now. Bearded Gear, that is. So, if you guys aren't followers of Bearded Gear, Jake has got an awesome, awesome channel. He is... All right, Chad. Have a good night, man. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a good weekend, buddy. But... Yeah, this is a, it's a gorgeous little knife. But like I said, this one's made by QSP. The Tycuna and the Runtley were both made by Best Tech. And... Oh my goodness. It's just, wow. Such a, such a good knife. I mean, both of them. I mean, both of them are super well made. The action on the Tycuna, I mean... I got to be careful with this thing. It wants to bite me bad. It really, really wants to be mine. And this one has the glow. This one has the glow shield. Where this one... This one does not. This one does not have the glow shield. How much? This guy runs 115 That's what they're selling for. This one's selling for 115 and I think the Tycuna is selling for right around 150 And if I have if if I have one detractor about the Tycuna, as I think that's pretty much on the top end of of the price for that knife. Yes. Yes, this has a glow shield. I don't know. Let's see if I can. Let me turn off. Let me turn off that light real quick. Whoops! No, I didn't. All right, I'll turn off that light real quick. See if this will charge under this light. Where's it at? Where's it at? <laughs> No, where's it at? Oh, I can't see it in the camera. God darn it. I'm here. Sorry. I was trying to see if it would glow, and I couldn't find it in the camera. Oh. Oh, thank you very much, Hector. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But yes, it does have a glow shield. No, I'm here. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I was trying to get it to glow. Thank you again, Deuce. I appreciate it, man. Th it does? Does this one have a crystal as well? It doesn't it doesn't look like it. That's why. Yes, I am. I certainly am, Cauldron. <laughs> No, no stroke, Todd. It doesn't look like it's glowing. Oh, the Tycoon? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Tycoon does. Yes, sir. Sorry. But both of them, super, super well made knives. Guys, in my opinion, I'm. Finch knocked it out of the park with their first three models the Runtley. The, the Tycoon and the 1929. Um, the 1929 is the first model in their classic series. So it sounds like they're going to have more knives patterned after classic knives. Traditionals, I'm guessing, is what he meant by that. And to me, the Tycoon already is. It, it's got that sodbuster feel to it. So... Good morning, Dave. How are you? Glad to have you, my friend. 
Right on, Hector, from down south. Very good. Well, I'm glad to have you. Hey, Chris, what's up, man? How you doing? Classic knives for the win. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Ah, there you go. Thank you, Zach. Zach is on the ball for me tonight. Thank you so much. Yeah, I wish me luck too, Mark. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I, I wish me luck too. I'll get there, man. It just takes practice. Just takes practice. I'll get better. Oh, yeah. All right. Now we're going to take it. We're going to go a little bit different direction. We got this guy. This is the Off-Grid Knives Badger. Hey, Acetone, what's up, man? How are you? Yes, for the win. That's what that stands for. <laughs> oh, it is beefy. But it, it fills my hands so nicely, man. Now, again, it's on that smaller side. But, I mean, that's kind of what I like. I like knives that fill my hand. And, but, you know, I don't have a lot left over. But it is. It's, uh, this one's uh, FRN, FRN handle, D2, right there. D2 blade, got that nice black wash on it, reversible pocket clip, reversible deep carry pocket clip, and recessed, recessed screws. Oh, yes. Yes, this is a nice knife, isn't it, Peter? <laughs> yes, this one came from, from Peter for me to check out. More than this one, I've got a couple more of his over here that we'll definitely take a look at. This is the Badger cal Cauldron. This one is the Badger. Yes, I like the clip. Deep carry, recessed screws. That is that is pocket clip glory for me, without a doubt. You do have a lock, so you can lock it open. Very, very nice. But I, guys, I love the way this, this knife fills my hand. It's, holy cow, it's so awesome. That swell in the handle, it just feels so good. So good in hand. And that stubby little blade, man, you can just get this guy, oh, get your thumb up there and you can just make it work. And of course, if you want to get forward for some draw cuts, Most definitely. Peter, let's see. Will Peter be taking this? Oh, he could definitely take it to a gas station fighter, too, I think. Yeah, for sure. Well, I tell you what, we're going to be taking a look at a rhino here real quick, Mark. So you'll get a good look at one. So sounds like everybody's liking the cold... Code 4, though. Oh, yeah. Peter Peter probably wouldn't be very happy with me, John. <laughs> um, what's that one run? Like 60, in that 60 to $65 range? So, not bad. Not a bad price on that one. Now, you have the Rhino. And this kind of, to me, is the Badger's kind of mean big brother. Because the blade shapes are very similar. This one's G10 on the handle. Still a D2 blade. But again, it's a lot bigger knife, obviously. But again, it just fills the hand so well. It just, man, I am very, very impressed to how these... Because, I mean... I mean, you could, I mean, just look, look at the size difference, you know, I mean, there's a noticeable size difference there. 
but both of them, they, they just fill my hand almost perfectly. Well, I think any knife could be considered dangerous. Yeah, I mean, it, it does, though. It, it So much different in size. Again, deep carry clip. No recessed pocket screws on this one. What's going on? Hey, Mercury, what's up, buddy? Uh, we're just talking about a rhino. You know how it goes. Oh, got to get it past the detent. Ugh. There it is. But, man, once you get it past the detent. So the Rhino is a best tech knife. Okay, well, you know, it's got. It's definitely a well-built knife for sure. Very. Oh, man. Yeah, and this, it's got excellent grip on the G10. So just out of curiosity, Peter, who made the Badger? I haven't looked that up yet. No, not sure who built the Badger. Okay. But Best Tech built the Rhino. Very good. Super, super action on it. I mean, that's a big old blade, too. So, I mean, it's going to fall. But golly. And so aptly named, man. I, I tell you what, man. I... <laughs> To this point, I haven't met a Best Tech made knife I haven't liked. Because like I said, the Tycoona and the Runtley were both made by Best Tech. And aftermarket clip options for the 8010. I don't have an 8010. So um, I know Peter's got an 8010. Ever looked into any aftermarket clips for that, Peter? Can I? Oh! Can I? Yes. Yes, I can. Oops. Yes, I can. Now watch me not be able to do it. Oh, there it is. Ha ha. I can. Yes. That was the one thing I was talking to Justin this morning after I got the knife. He says, can you spidey flick it? And I goes, oh, crap. I got to try. Yes, I can. I can spidey flick it. Ha ha. I can. I like it. Show off. <laughs> no, no, trust me. When it comes to Spidey flicking, I am no show off. <laughs> Not at all. I'm, I suck. Suck at Spidey flicking. Hey, Russ, what's up, man? How you doing? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Oh, I got a dry throat tonight. My bubbly water's not doing it. And yes, the Rhino also came from Peter. And then this one also came from Peter. It is the Off-Grid Viper. But can the Rhino do bamboo? I'm probably not going to take it to bamboo. But you know what? I bet it could. I really bet it could. Now, this one's kind of got the clipped, I call them clip tantos, because, well, there's probably a really name for it, but I don't know what it is. But, now, this is K110. This is not D2. This is K110 steel, made bowler K110. Again, G10, reversible pocket clip. Oh, recess screws again. We like that. Show off the action. Oh, it's got a fantastic action. Hey, Mean Gene. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Modified Tanto. Modified, yeah, whatever you want to call it. You call it whatever you want to call it. <laughs> All right, Peter. See you in a bit. Hey, Bunzo. Glad to have you back.
should be huge and vicious looking. <laughs> Oh no, that sucks, Mercury. Again, a pretty darn good action on the Viper. Got some nice milling or pseudo jimping there on the spine of the blade. That's pretty much for, that's just pretty much for looks. You wish it was bigger? Um, yeah. Oh, uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Dave. We'll talk to you later, man. Enjoy your Sunday, my friend. I can modify. Oh, nice. Okay, then. Right on. How are you doing? <laughs> John. Again, we have a lock to lock it open. But I, I really hate to say, before I got these, you know, um... You know, off-grid really wasn't on my radar, and, you know, whatever the case may be, but holy smokes, getting these guys in hand, that has definitely changed. They are well, well on the radar. Did you ask me a question, August, and I didn't answer it? K110 is, but that uh, could be. I haven't really looked up K110 because I really haven't had any knives. But I think this is the first one, actually. I think this is the first K110 knife I've had, so. This is just, yeah. Definitely, definitely another really, really good knife. Gosh darn. There's, we're going to have some fun checking all these out. Uh, price range? Uh, I believe the Badger was like 60 or 65. Um... I think the Rhino was right around 70, if I'm not mistaken. And the Viper, the Viper, I'm not 100. I don't think I looked up the price for the Viper. But, well, oh, hang on. I got it right here. Hang on a second. The Viper is 70 and the Rhino is 70. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, price-wise, they're not bad at all. Yeah, they're really really priced really well so yeah like i said they're definitely on my radar now and the one that i really really was taking a liking to was the black mamba that's a reverse tanto one i don't know if i got it up here no i don't have that one up here no, I have not seen the Scorpion Grim. I have not. These are the first, these three are the first off-grid knives I've ever had my hands on. Um, I know I saw it at one point today, but I didn't really look at it. So I'll have to go back and look at it again to really know what it looks like. But is, oh... Wait a minute, is the Scorpion the one that kind of had the whole, the blade kind of looks similar to a 940 Osborne-ish? Maybe a little more pointy? Is that the one? It's all we and Best Tech? Okay. Yeah, uh, what's the steel? Oh, the steel on that one was M390, I think. I think I'm, I'm, that one's coming back to me now. Oh, let's see. What else do we have to look at? What else do we have to look at? 
Did we look at this one? No, I don't think we. I don't think we looked at this one last week. This is another one I bought. I can't remember. Did we look at this one last week? This is the Rough Rider Blue and Black slip joint. Hey, Killer B, what's up, man? How you doing? I don't think we looked at this one. But it's a slip joint with a half stop. It's kind of that whole modern slip joint. Got the thumb hole for opening. It's the 18, 18.17. Yeah, it's not a bad looking little knife for a Rough Rider, man. And again, eight bucks. Eight bucks for this. I mean, it's going to slip because it's a slip joint, but side to side? No, nothing, man. Just a nice, solid little knife for seven bucks or eight bucks, man. Again, like I said, half stop. Pocket clip. Pocket clip, you know, is a little something to be desired. It's like, <laughs> it's like reverse, <laughs> opposite of deep carry. I mean, you got quite a bit that's going to be sticking out of your pocket there. But. It's, there we go. There's a good picture of it. Oh, the granddaddy Barlow, right on. Uh, blade length on this one is, what do we got? One, two, three, about three and a quarter, we'll call it. And your cutting edge is just under three and a quarter. Yeah, the clip is a little weird, but then again, for eight bucks. So yeah, it's just blade length is just over three and a quarter. Oh, was that three? Yeah, three and three eighths. That's yeah, that looks about right. And like I said, and then your cutting edge is just under three and a quarter. So, but yeah, I mean, not for eight bucks, you got yourself a good, you know, a decent little beater knife. I mean, it's 448 steel, G10. G10's got some good grip on it, though. Uh, you know, I kind of have to agree with you there. Now, that that right there, that's kind of a little bit of a pain. Yeah, something might have to be done about that. Because, I mean, this is probably not a knife that you're going to be using for extended periods of time. Just because of what it is, but <clears throat> if you if you were going, yeah, that would definitely that would definitely. But no, you can't beat it for the price. No kidding, Russ. Zach's been on it, man. Zach has been the man for me today, and I greatly appreciate it. Oh, really? JG10 Luna for 28. That's pretty good. Yeah, the choil on this one. I mean, yeah. But you want to talk about a good finger choil to get your finger up there so to help prevent the the slipping, you know, the slipping of the blade. I got it. Oh, right on, Beefer. He is a pillar of the community, most definitely. Without a, without question there. He helps me out tremendously. And I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Oh, wow. Well, that's about all I have. That's about all the knives I have to look at tonight. I kind of breeze through them. Oh, that's not true. Let's take a look at... I got one more. One more. What can we look at? Oh, I do have to tell you guys. I was showing these knives to Nelly. And I messaged Peter. 
and told him, I don't know if he was going to get the rhino back. She was liking this big old beast. She likes the bigger knives. A little girl like her, and she loves these big old knives. So, I, I don't know. How about this one? This one comes from Jamie Loves Knives. He sent me this one. It's a Kubi, and to be perfectly honest with you, gosh darn it, I can't remember the model on it. But it's S35VN. I think Nelly's going to steal this one from me, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's not true. It's never true that I don't have more knives. It's just, yeah. I have plenty of knives, trust me. But this is a nice little Kubi, man. It's got a really nice action on it. He ended up sending me a few knives. He just donated them to the channel. So very, very cool of him. I do like it. It's very slender. And after, you know, talking about something like that to go to something like this. But I do. I like it. It, it feels really good in hand. Yeah, for sure. It, it's it's definitely, I mean, the, well, the 127 is not too wide, but. <laughs> hey, Lavender, what's up? Oh, yeah, that's a good deal, dude. That's a really good deal. No, you can't really, you can't go wrong with a big old beast, but you know what? I, I don't think you can go wrong with a good, nice, slender, light carry every once in a while as well. But I'll definitely have to look up. I cannot remember the model number on this one. But like I said, I think I'm going to lose it. I think Nelly's going to take it from me. Because it's that pinkish purple. It's not a big knife. But I'll probably lose it. Oh, yeah, I got to share. If I share every once in a while, that just means I can get more. <laughs> Harder to sharpen? Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, and, you know, maybe that could have been part of my problem with those bucks, too. Is there a little bit more slender blade? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Hey, Pioneer, what's up? Yeah, they are. Arr. It's kind of got that crossbone-ish feel to it. For sure. <laughs> but, well, if I'm done looking at knives, you know what that means. We're going to clear this off the table. And we're going to give some stuff away. That is very true, Grim. That is very true. Yes, it is. It's time. No, no, none of us are ever really done looking knives. Not at all. Not even remotely. But we will be for tonight so we can give some stuff away. Oh, I don't doubt that, Lavender. I don't doubt those. They sold out. Those are. Oh, yeah. No surprise whatsoever. So what do we got? Well, of course, we have our swag pack. Lots of swag. Even more swag. Oh, are you out, Menace? All right, man. Glad to have you. Hope you have enjoy your Sunday. Enjoy your week coming up as well. Thanks a lot. Oh, doggone it. I wanted to say this earlier. Next week, guys, 4th of July. Next week is the 4th of July. So I am going to be doing an early show next. 
Saturday. So early one, I know we got stuff to do that night, but, and I'm sure everybody will be celebrating if they can. So I'm going to do an early show, two o'clock tomorrow. Oh, right on, Killer B. Yeah, we'll definitely check you out on Instagram. So, yep, we will be doing an afternoon one, 2 p.m. Pacific time next week. So, <coughs> 2 p.m. We got a big sticker. Our big sticker this week is the Knife Joker Knives and Tool. Very cool. Well, that could, yes, some of the, most of that is probably involved, John, for sure. There's our code. I'm going to put that right under there. Oh, we got a patch this week, too. Update on the LUDT. Um, I love it. I love it. Um... Where, oh, where has my little dog gone? There's your update. There it is. Right there. I love it. I love it, I love it. Oh, but, and I know where to go. Where'd it go? I know we looked at this little guy next week. Or last week. Dude, this is my second favorite ProTech. This little SBR. Oh, dude. Slicey called it a bulldog, man, and it is. It is a bulldog. But we also have a patch tonight, like I said. We have a Tops Knives, one life, one knife patch to go in this way. What else we got? We have a Dam Designed. Yeah, I need to check out their Malibu for sure. Uh, we have a Poison Bottle tonight. I think I have one. Yep. There's what the Poison Bottle looks like. The little poison bottle bead with the skull and crossbones. BJ. Hey, you missed the show, but you're just in time for the giveaway. So you're just in time. So we got a little poison bottle there. <clears throat> and then also from Damn Designs, we have this little pocket tool. which is kind of like a bottle opener, hex wrench. It's even got measurements on the side. So a nice little, oh, thank you, dude. Thank you very much, man. If you have a link, Talbert, you go ahead and share the link. That's fine, man. Go right ahead. But nice little pocket tool. Thank you so much, Deuce. That is very awesome of you. I greatly appreciate it. And a Dorsey 140 Lumen flashlight generously donated by Brittany from Dorsey International. US, USB rechargeable. Let's see, we've got 140 lumens. We have 60 lumens. 110 meters of throw. 70 meters of throw. Drop resistant to one meter. Tail cap indicator. USB input jack. A focus feature, and you have a high, low, and a strobe function on it. So, yes, Dorsey does rock. 
Oh, thank you, Zach. There you go. Yes, Zach is just like, bam, he's the man. Yes, Dorsey has been absolutely awesome to the community. Uh, she just hooked my, she just hooked up my buddy Rodney over at Garacor EDC right here on YouTube. Um, she just hooked him up with a bunch of stuff. She's abs I know she's done it for v uh, BJ. She's done it for uh, Big Board Knife and Gear. Um, my goodness, myself. Um, she's just been absolutely awesome. They're always doing giveaways on Instagram and stuff. They've got good sales usually, like C. Lemansky just said. Uh, very much so. Yes, yes, Brittany kicks ass. So, last thing we're going to be giving away. I haven't given one away in a while. Can you guess what it might be? I have not given one away in a while. Oh, Rodney's a good dude. Rodney likes his two sons as well. He is big on two sons. Everybody always guesses the Weston. <laughs> I still have I still have a couple of them to give away. There you go. Chad got it. Yes. Yes, I am giving away a Saturday Knife Live t-shirt. I have not given one of those in a while in a while. So that's what we will be giving away tonight. That is our prize package. I don't want to cover everything up, so I'll just I'll put this over here. So yes. So and I on the shirts right now I have large through 3XL. So if you're a large through a 3XL, you're good to go. And some of you have shirts. I realize that. And if for some reason you would not want another shirt, which I would most certainly understand. If you didn't, uh, we can always work something out. You know I'm good for it. So, hey, Triple E, what's up? Oh, it's all right, man. Medium out of sock. <laughs> no, I just, I usually don't get very many mediums. I had one and I it got given away and I just haven't gotten any more ordered. So I need to, to, uh, get some so all right guys you know the deal you're going to be guessing a two letter code that two letter code a a b b has something to do with something we saw on the channel tonight once the start comes up on the screen you can start guessing and i have the stop hank at the ready so Get ready, guys, and go for it. <coughs> Let's see. Yeah. All right. Hold your guesses. I already got a winner. I already got a winner. Already got a winner. I knew it was going to go quick. Yep. All right, Grim. Yeah, I knew it was going to go fast. I knew it was going to go fast. Because, I mean, we didn't really, we didn't talk about that many brands. So, I have my screenshot already. But our code was OG for off-grid, and I show, on my screen, I show Justin. OCD for EDC is the winner. So you are the, you are the winner, Justin, and it is right, I mean... I mean, it was him and it was him and Cauldron right out of the bunch. First two, bang bang. So, yeah. But Justin, you are the winner, my friend. 
So, we will get you some goodies headed your way. And I'll sh we'll talk. We'll talk on uh, fate or not Facebook, but Instagram. We'll make sure we get you hooked up. Are you sure? Give it to the next guy. Okay. Well, you heard him. He said, give it to the next guy. And that would definitely be Cauldron. So. I guess you're the winner, Cauldron. Are you still here? Let me know if you're still here, buddy. There you are. So, just do the do, Cauldron. Shoot me an email. It's always easier that way, so I don't have to go searching. Okay, good. Yeah, man, just shoot me an email with your... Uh, I need your email anyway, because I need your shirt size. So... Yep, shoot me an email. We'll get you taken care of. Cauldron's won a couple of times, so that's pretty cool. But, all right, guys. It's been another absolutely fantastic, fantastic show tonight. Justin, thank you very much for making my Saturday. Um... You brought a little bit of brightness to my Saturday today because I had to have my truck worked on and it was not cheap. It was not cheap at all. So it was definitely, that was a very, very nice surprise today and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. So, but I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic Sunday. I hope you guys have a terrific week coming up. Just remember next week, Early show, 2 p.m. Pacific time on Saturday. I hope you all have a fantastic week. Much love. Take care. Stay safe. And I'll see you guys next weekend.